All right, go for it. Okay. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in this uh, lockdown world. Uh, we have retired Navy SEAL Captain John Doolittle going to explain how to put on the bands before we jump in with our master instructor. Go ahead, John. All right. Thanks, Stephen. Hey, uh, guys, each time we do these, uh, these workouts with Laurel, we're going to kick it off with just like a, a, a one minute or so reminder because there's always going to be that one or two people that maybe haven't been on or maybe they just got their device in the mail. So let's, we're starting with arm bands. It's easiest if you go ahead and hook the clear transparent tube to the band before you go to put them on. Kind of pre-stage it like that. Make sure that the elbow is facing down towards your fingers. And then what I do is I just shimmy it up over my shirt or if you have a tank top, just all the way up to the armpit. You should be able to get all the way up there, okay? And then maybe a finger from the very top of your armpit. And then go ahead and just give it a snug pull. And here's the key. I know it's hard to see black on black, but the key is you should be able to get a finger under there, but it should be snug. It, that should not be easy to get a finger under there. If you can get two fingers under there, then it's not tight enough. Um, then go ahead and hook the other ends to, they, they just kind of, they're friction. There's no click. You just press them right in there. And turn the device on by pushing and holding the middle red button. It'll say cycle. And go ahead, start with group. The way I do it is on arms, I'm almost always in the group mode, which are the lower presets. And then on legs, I'm always in the pro mode, which are the higher three presets, low, medium, and high. So we're going to, I'm pretty sure Laurel's starting with arms, so I'll go group. And once you're hooked up, just go ahead and start doing cycles. And right now, it's running in the background, so 36 seconds or five seconds off. The key with the armbands, Make sure that they're all the way up, almost as far as they can go, and that they're snug enough that it's, it's difficult to get a finger under there, but you can. If it's so tight, you can't stick a finger under the band, that's too tight for your arms. On your legs, you'll see when Laurel puts them on, she'll go all the way up inside her, uh, on the inside here. The, the leg bands will be all the way up on the inside of her thigh and then high on the outside. And the leg bands should be even tighter than the arm bands like really hard to get one finger under the leg band. And uh, that's it. Laurel, over to you. Let's get some. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who have not yet met, I'm Laurel. I'm here in my living room in Santa Monica, California, uh, ready for this Friday workout. If you do not already have water, grab some. If you have water, grab a sip of it. Um, we're going to start with some stretching today, a little bit of mobility work. Uh, we've been doing a lot of really hard work this week, and we want to do just a little bit of stretching to kind of counterbalance some of that. So go ahead and just extend your arms out to the side, make this, and just draw some big circles in the shoulder socket, moving everything around. And really accentuating the movement, pulling the shoulders all the way up to the ears, hugging the back, and then bringing them around and through. And then we're going to do the same thing, reach your arms forward, roll them out. And this is for mobility of our scapulas, the backs of the shoulders, working through any crunching. And then start to reach your arms straight up towards the ceiling. Try and take as much bend out of the elbows as you can and work through those same circles. And the elbows have a natural tendency to kind of bend here. Keep extending through the fingertips. Palms facing each other. And then with the arms up, take your right hand between your shoulders. And it doesn't matter how much mobility or how much flexibility you have here. Take the left hand, start to slide the back of the hand up your back. And if you can't touch that spine, keep pressing the elbows back, grow them taller. And we're just going to take a couple breaths here, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears and pressing the back of the head into that top arm. 
All right. And if you have space, you can walk the left fingertips a little bit higher up past. One more big breath. And go go ahead and release it. Give the shoulders a roll. I shrug and hug. We shrug them up and back on in between the blades. Snuggle that, especially if, it, if we've been at home reading, studying, working, rounding out. Want to open everything up. Let's take two breaths here. You might be able to hear my bands working in the background. And then go ahead and release that. And give the shoulders another roll. And we're just going to move through a little bit of range of motion. With your palms up, you're going to reach all the way up. Tap opposite shoulder behind you. All the way back and down. And if you're standing, you can do this way too. Reach all the way up. Tap the shoulders as best you can, and all the way down. We're gonna do four more. And up, active shoulder stretch. And three. Good. Last two. And final one. Tap the shoulders, reach the arms up, bring them down by the sides. And then I'm seated. If you are not already seated, make your way down onto your mat. Our first exercise of the day is called quadrupled palm to fingertip push-ups. Now, what the heck does that mean? Quadrupled means that I'm on my hands and knees. I have four limbs down. So from my palm, we're going to start to work the forearms. With our bands, we always want to work arms before legs. And we always want to go smaller muscles to bigger muscles. So we're going to start with the forearms. So on my palms, my knees are dropped down to the floor. You can scoot your knees back a little bit, shift the weight forward. We're going to come up onto our fingertips and then release the palms down. We come up onto our fingertips and release the palms down. So we've got two 30-second sets. The first one, we're going to move really slow. The second one, we're going to move fast. And if you have wrist issues, you can do little wrist curls instead. I know that's not comfortable for everyone to be on your palms. So first 30 seconds. I shift my hips back and I press onto my fingertips and come back down to the palm. And we go up and down nice and slowly, making our way all the way up under our tips of the fingers and releasing the palms down. And you can make this more challenging by walking your arms forward and shifting your hips forward. That's a lot harder. Up and down. And nice and slow. We have 10 more seconds here. Good, last five, four, three, two, and rest. On your hands and knees, take the back of your left hand, so the back of the hand is against the floor, you can see mine. Try and get your wrist creased down and then straight as much as you can. And you can rock forwards and backwards if it's not too much on your arm. And then release that wrist, give it a roll. Take the back of the right hand down to the floor. So my fingertips are reaching towards my knees. Start to straighten that arm. You might feel the stretch across your forearm. And if you have the range of motion here, you can just kind of rock forwards and backwards. Now let's do our second set. So slightly easier, hands are under shoulders. Slightly harder, we walk the hands forward, drop the hips, and we go fast. Fingertips, palm, fingertips, palm, keeping the arms nice and straight. I'm gonna check in and see how we're doing. Our time is going. Awesome. You should feel the forearm starting to work. If it gets to be too much on the wrist, always pause. And on that note, if anything feels like it's too much for your body, always listen to yourself, your body, it knows what's best. I'll offer alternatives for each exercise. So really paying attention to what feels right. You don't want to get injured in the name of doing something good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come up to sit, give the wrist a roll. Move them around the other direction. And let's make our way up to stand for tricep extensions and bicep curls. So I find that these are some of the most simple but my favorite exercises with the bands because we're really able to isolate these muscles in a way that I find it really hard to do without weight. But the bands enable me to do so. 
So the first one are just tricep extensions. I take a bend in my knees. I'm gonna hinge forward so I have a flat back. As I press back, I extend the fingers, pull it in. Lengthen out, pull it in. So we have two 30 second sets here. The first one, we're gonna go out, two, in, two. And then the second set, we're gonna go really fast. So first set, nice straight spine, out, two, in, two. Out, two, in, two. And keep going. All right. Really reaching those fingertips back behind you as you extend, leading with the pinky finger, get those arms all the way up. Slight engagement of the core so we're not bending into our back. We have 10 more seconds here. In five, we're gonna reach back and hold. We have four, three, two, extend and hold. Keep your fists, little punches leading with the fingers up towards the ceiling. Pinky fingers up. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, straight arm, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Take your right arm across the body. And take the left arm across the body. And let's move on into the other side. I'm gonna reset my cycle, because it paused. So this time we're gonna go fast. So a little bent knee position, lean forward, make sure your spine is flat, no rounding out. We're gonna go out, in, out, in. 30 seconds, time is going. Out, in, out, in. And just because we're moving fast doesn't mean we can't make that movement really profound and explosive. Push, 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 and push. I like it, keep going. We are half done, nice DS. Keep pulling your shoulders down your body. Don't let them hunch up by your ears. That's a note to everyone. I see Marile, sorry if I'm ruining your name, has weights. Awesome, last 10 seconds. Perfect. In five, we're gonna extend and hold. Go auto, go core. Three, two, extend, hold it. Fully open up the fist. Make those fingers nice and wide, little lifts up and up. Your hands are starfish. Really spread the fingers. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Lift and hold. Pull your shoulders down. Reach your fingers back. Four, three, two, and release it. Shake it out. Let's check our cap refill. Let me see your palms. Give it a press. We see the white. If it does not return back to its normal color within three seconds, we probably want to loosen the bands up. You might be noticing that your hands and your arms are slightly darker in color. That's actually a good thing. That means things are working. The blood restrictions going, and we're ready to move on to our next exercise. Bicep curl, elbows up, make this. First 30 seconds, slow, making sure elbows are in line with shoulders. If you have weights, you can grab them. We go in, two, out, two. In, two, out, two. My clock is going. Squeezing the fist. Squeezing the muscles, using our body weight and our bands to create a lot of Resistance, and in, two, out, two, good. I like it, try and keep those elbows up, don't let them fall. In 10, we're gonna pull the fist in and hold. We have five, four, three, two, pull your fist in, little lift, up and up. Lift those elbows, lift, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Bicep stretch, clasp the hands behind the back, lengthen the arms down. Think about pulling the backs of your shoulders together and we're gonna jump right into our second set. This time we're going fast. Elbows up, make those fits. We go in, out, in, out. 30 seconds, here we go. Sophia and Sydney, I love it. I like that you two alternate the name depending on the day. Everyone's included. George looks great. Kayleen, Jack, yes. Go, Bonnie, go, Kiori. Good, 10 more seconds. All right, Camille. Caleb, I just see hands coming in and out of the screen, but I like it. In five, we're gonna pull the fist in. Four, three, two, pull those fists in. Little curls, curl, 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 and curl. Eight, seven, squeeze, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 
grab a sip of water. If you need to restart your cycle, do that. Adjust your bands if need be. I'm gonna demonstrate our next exercise. So it's two parts. The first part is a pike to plank walk up. So we're trying to shoulders, but we're also working the core. So the first 30 seconds, we walk up, we walk back. We walk up, we walk back. That's the first part. Second part, we walk up. I'm in a pike position. I drop my head down and up. I drop my head down and up. Now, Steve, can we unmute for a second? Yes. Who can tell me what exercise the pike push-up mimics in a gym? So there's a particular exercise we do with weight. Yeah, you know, that's that calls for you know different training uh, principles, and I think that sounds like something's on the phone. Yeah. Before, so, uh, anyone having any guesses? That attention <laughs> at an early age, uh, because I think you know in my well, senior. Leave you to put everyone back yeah. on mute. Yeah. Um, so what we're essentially mimicking in the pike push-up is the overhead press. So we're dropping our head down and lifting back up, which is mimicking this movement, but using our. Uh, sorry, let me get you back. I'm back. Okay. All right, so we're mimicking the overhead press. So everyone, go ahead and make your way into a plank pose. First 30 seconds, keeping the shoulders stacked over the wrist, we walk up, we walk back down. We walk all the way up, and we walk down. Time is going. And as you do this, See if you can keep your legs long so you're getting a nice hamstring stretch as we're walking our hips up towards the ceiling. Cool. Awesome. We have 10 more seconds tonight, Brandon. I can't see Sean, but I know he's working. Good. Feet walking up to the hands all the way up. Go, Kaori. Looks good. We have five. Four, three, two, and drop those knees, roll out the wrist, take a quick pause. If it's too much on the wrist for anyone, you can always mimic the shoulder press here instead of doing the pike push up. Okay, we have a lot of wrist stuff today, so if it's too much, you can always take the alternative. Otherwise, come into plank, walk yourself up into pike, hips up, think leading with the top of your head, push down and up and down and up 30 seconds we are going and the range of motion might be somewhat limited in the elbows that's fine think about that diving into a swimming pool i know we have some swimmers here leading with the head down and up cool mm -hmm. slight tuck of the chin into the chest keep the back of the neck really long last 10 we're gonna hold at the bottom and pull in five four three Two, bend your elbows, little pulses, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, roll it out. We're gonna jump right into our next exercise. We are in a forearm plank. And we'd like to try, so we're gonna play in forearm plank. So we've got one minute. And as we're doing our forearm plank, I'm gonna yell out, kind of like Simon says, different things that we can try and do. So for example, we might have like, left arm reaches forward, knee into nose, whatever it might be. And just do as much of it as you can and follow along. So let's all make our way into forearm plank. One minute. Uh, Laurel, you just uh, any... one question. Uh, we yeah. have some older users here. If they can't do the plank, what are, what are some alternatives? So great alternative, if you can't do the plank, is just do it on your knees. Got it. You can always do any of the plank variations on your knees, um, or you can always come down onto your hips and just play with popping up and down. Thank so you. either just working in and out of it or staying on your knees. Yeah, thank you for asking, that's a great point, okay? okay? So if you're choosing to take the forearm plank, go ahead and make your way down into whatever variation you're doing. Knees or full forearm plank. And our minute is going now. So let's play around with it. So see if you can lift your left leg off the floor and set it down. See if you can extend your right arm forward and set it down. Pull your right knee into your nose. So whether you're on your knees or in the forearm plank, awesome. Set it down. 
Now pick your right foot off the floor. Set it down. We're half done here. Extend your left arm forward. Woo, set it down. Pull your left knee into your nose. And set it down. Now start to march. Right leg, left leg. Right leg, left leg. We have 15 more seconds here. Keep marching. Good. Both feet down. Now see if you can reach your right arm forward. Set it down. Left arm forward. Set it down. We have five, four, three, two. Everyone drop your knees. Full breath. And in our child's pose, we're going to walk both hands over to the left side of your mat or your floor space. Take your right palm on top of your left and get a big stretch throughout the right side of your body. And check in with the quality of your breath. See where you might be able to slow it down. Imagining that your lungs are like balloons and completely inflating and deflating them with each breath. And then go ahead and walk the hands over to the left side of your workspace, taking, sorry, the right side. And we have little muscles in between our ribs called intercostals. So we really want to stretch those out. It can actually feel easier to breathe. So taking a couple of deep breaths here. And then start to walk the hands back through center. And we're gonna come up to stand, working into the first portion of our heart rate boost. So our heart rate boost is three exercises that we're gonna go through 30 seconds at a time. And we're gonna do our heart rate boost at different periods throughout our workout. So our three moves today are 30 seconds heel touch to butt kick. So I go touch, touch, kick, kick. And this can be slow pace or we can get going really fast. Touch, touch, kick, kick, touch, touch, kick, kick. See what works best for your body. The second 30 seconds are a sumo squat reach. So I step my legs really wide. I press my hips back. I touch towards the floor. I reach up. I come down. I reach up. And it can be whatever pace feels good for you. We can go fast. We can go the point is we're opening up the hips, driving the butt back. And then the final 30 seconds is an overhead jack to jumping jack. What was that, see? Okay, so we go jack, jack, forward and side. And if jumping is not your cup of tea today, you can go step, 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 okay? So I'll go over the first set together, first 30 seconds. We have a heel touch to butt kick. So, time is going. First 30 seconds, we go touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch, there we go. So as we touch the heels, we're opening up our hips. And as we kick our heels in towards the... Opening up the front of... All right, good, keep going. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Step those feet really wide, bend the knees, drop the hips back, do a squat, reach, and down, and up. Second 30, down, and up, down, and up. All right. And it's Friday, so see if you can find something to get excited about for the weekend, because we're working out, we're getting our blood going, setting ourselves out for a great start. And down, and up, down, and up. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Overhead jack to jumping jack. We go up, or sorry, we go out, side, up, side, 30 seconds. And the alternative is tap, 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 Tap. So whatever variation you do, speed is up to you. Get your heart rate going. Get your hips open. Out and up and up. Half done. Woo. Last ten. Take a little coordination. <laughs> we have five, four, three, 
two, and one. Shake it out, rest. Grab your water, take a pause. And we're gonna go ahead and switch our bands out to our leg bands here. So Steve, if you wanna unmute, unmute folks, you can either throw questions into the chat or just give us a shout. Um, uh, and while we're Chris, here, uh, Coach Chris would like me to talk about anything actually, else. Go ahead and switch out to our leg bands. And if anyone has any questions for me, feel free to ask. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna be birthday cake ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and as we get the leg bands on, as John mentioned, we can start standing and take the bands as high up the thighs as you possibly can go. All the way up into those creases. And then once you get your bands up, straps facing down, we want to angle them up, so towards the hip bones, if you can. And then start to tighten. I'll get my other one on. And then once you get your leg bands on standing, you can come down to sit, let the muscles relax a little bit, and tighten them up even more. And I see we have a question in our chat. <laughs> all right, get all hooked up. And uh, Judy sent out a really good tip to everyone. If you see your uh, device running out of juice, a portable phone charger works great. And I love that. Um, Cause you can just hook the cord up to any portable phone charger and, and cap to anywhere you wanna go. So Steve, do you have anything you wanna add before we uh, dive into our leg exercises? Sounds like we're good to go. All right. <laughs> so let's just like arms, let's do it. Why not? We're ready. All right. So just like arms, we want to start leg muscles smaller to bigger. So we're going to start to work our calves. And our first set of exercises, we're just going to work the calves. And then the second set, we're going to add in a little bit of active flexibility to challenge our balance and open up our hamstrings. So it's like a three in one kind of deal. So if you are slightly challenged when it comes to balance, you can stand next to a wall or grab a chair. Um, and just everyone being really patient with ourselves because we're doing difficult things. So with that being said, pick your cycle. Come on up to stand. We're going to come into a split lunge. I'm going to scoot this back a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to step my left foot forward and my right foot back. And if you have a wall or a chair and you want to hold it, that's fine. Drop your back heel, your right heel down to the floor. And then start to lift your left heel off the mat, on the mat, off the mat, on the mat. So we're going to start into work into this. And up and down. So first 30 seconds are here, just getting into the calf. And down, up and down. And if you want to challenge yourself more balance-wise, you can come onto the toes of the back foot, lift that heel up. You go up and down, up and down. And we have 10 more seconds here. Getting the heel as high as you can. Good. We're gonna lift and hold in five, four, three, two. Static hold. Hold it right there, keep your heel up. 10 seconds. Continue to lift your heel higher, squeeze your touch for support. We have four. Three, two, and set it down. Step the back foot up to meet the front foot and let's switch sides. Right foot forward, left foot back. You can start on the heel of your back foot or if you want more of a challenge, your toes. And we're just gonna do 30 seconds, right heel up and down. Up and down. And if the lunge just isn't working for you today, you can always come into a double leg, regular heel lift, which is just as effective. Up and down. All right. And as you're doing this, I want you to imagine that you're pulling the mat in opposite directions with your feet, creating some traction to help us with balance. 
And in five, we're gonna lift and hold for four, three, two, lift that heel up, keep bending into the front knee, get your heel even higher. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Step the back foot up to meet the front with foot, shake out the legs. Now let's work into that adding flexibility. I step the left foot up again. This time, make sure you keep your right heel down. You're going to want it here. So it's a multi-part move. I bend my front knee, lift my heel, drop the heel, straighten, and hinge. So we're going to do it together. Bend the knee, lift the heel, drop the heel, straighten the leg, and hinge. And we have 30 seconds of this. You can follow along with me or you can find your own pace. And as you hinge forward over the hips, feel that nice hamstring stretch in the back of the left leg. So active flexibility, working into the hamstring. All right. And in five, we're gonna come into the split lunge. And we have four, three, two, and one. Everyone come into that lunge in the front leg and then straighten the leg out and just hinge down and up over the straight leg. So both legs are straight. We're pulling the floor in opposite directions with our feet. We're trying to keep the spine straight and we hinge down and up. And let's take four more. And three. Good. Last two. And this time we hinge and hold it. Option to reach your arms back behind you. Keep drop, dropping your belly towards your front thigh. We have six, five, four, three, two, and come up to stand. Step the back foot up to meet the front foot. March it out. And we're going to do the other side. So stepping the right foot forward, left foot back, drop the heel down. And make sure you're not on the tightrope here. So you can scoot your right foot over to the right, create some space between your legs. And then second set, we bend the front knee, lift the heel, drop the heel, straighten, hinge. And then heel up, heel down, straighten, and hinge. And our time is going. And these ones we can take really slow, really mindfully using the resistance of our bodies, of the bands, to not only get into the calf muscle, but also get into the stretch. Good, and last 10 seconds. And in five, we're gonna come into the lunge, three, two, come into the lunge and hold it. Arms across the chest, if they're not already there, straighten out the front leg, and then hinge down and up. For five, good. And you can follow my count or move even slower, getting lower. And after all the workouts we've been doing this week, I don't know about you guys, but I'm in sore. That feels good. Two, on this next one, we hinge and hold it. Option to reach your arms back behind you, pulling the shoulders down. We have six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Restart your cycle if you need to. We've done some stretching. Now let's get our heart rate back up. Okay. First 30 seconds, we have heel taps, butt kicks, second 30, sumo reaches, final 30, overhead jack to regular jack. First 30 seconds, here we go. Heel, heel, butt, butt, heel, heel, butt, butt. Let me check in, see how we're doing. Nice. I see some bouncing and some stepping and it's all perfect. A lot of us have been doing these workouts every day. So just honoring our bodies might be a little bit tired. Jake, you are flying. Go Abel. Good, we have five, four, three, two. Step the feet wide. Press the hips back, sumo reach. Up, down, and up. 
Option to go back, down, up, down, up. Making sure your spine is straight. Down, up, yes. <laughs> Good, half done. All right. Our mermaid is flying. Go Jack. Awesome auto, we have five, four, three, two. Overhead jack, jumping jack. Overhead jack, jumping jack. 30 seconds, option to step. If jumping is just not for you today. Otherwise, let's move. And out, and up, and out. 30 seconds, give it all you've got. This is the last of our heart rate set, our last move. Out, and up. And up, half done. See how best you can go last 10. Even if you're stepping, let's move. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Okay. So we practiced our lunges. Actually, let's grab a sip of water. Let's grab a quick sip. We wanna make sure we stay hydrated, especially when we're doing workouts with the band. All right. Now we're ready. Now we can continue. So we practice our lunges. Let's keep working into that. It is a front lunge to lateral leg lift. So starting with the right leg, we lunge forward, step, lift, in. Lunge, in, lift, in. If you want more of a challenge, keep that right foot off the floor. Lunge, up, lift, in. Lunge up, lift in. Okay, so we're starting with the right leg. 30 seconds and go. And I want to see nice straight spine the whole time. Yeah. I see Steve doing it. <laughs> and really seeing how high we can kick that leg out to the side, opening up our hips. Fantastic, Camille. Go, Bonnie. I can't see Julia, but I know you're doing it. Good. Last five. Four, three, two. And right into the left side. 30 seconds. Let's go. We lunge. Up, kick, in. Option to hover the foot. Lunge, hover, kick, hover. All right. So using our obliques, the sides of our abs to really get that leg up as we open up the hip, our core is working, our hamstrings are working, our glutes are working, the whole body is functioning as one awesome unit. Last 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Give everything a wiggle. Call it your Friday dance. Let's move. All right, one more set. See if you can hold at the center a little bit more on this one. So we lunge up, out, up. So little pauses. Lunge, hold, out, hold. If you're trying to balance work, right leg forward, we are going. Lunge, hold, up, hold. Yes. Woo, see it. Nice, stable. Half done. I see arms flying. And that's exactly how it should be. Does not matter what you do with your arms here. Do whatever you need to to find balance and stability. We have five, four, three, two. Right into that left side. Final one. Lunge. Pause. Kick. Pause. We're going. All right. Cool. Half done. Good. Yes. I like that hike. Guys, these kicks look really good. I think we've improved even since Monday. I like you're getting all the way up there. Last five, four, three, two, and Rest. We're going to dive right into the next exercise to get our heart rate up. It's a crisscross squat. We go criss squat, cross squat, and squat. If you're not feeling like jumping, 
You can step, squat, step, squat, side to side. What I'd like to see is that our spine stays straight and I know I'm a broken record, but if we're doing this, we're not working our hips, we're just rounding out our spine. The spine nice and straight, down, squat. Two sets, 30 seconds, let's make them really good and get our heart rate up, go. Squat, squat. And as you come into that squat, your feet are slightly wider than hip distance. Keep your heels down, get your butt down. Yeah. All right. I love it. Go, Steve. <laughs> nice, John. Your oar is very proud of you. Last 10 seconds. Go, Lucas. All right, Devin. Sophie and Sydney look good for five, four, three, two, rest. Now we're going to take a stretch together. Step your feet slightly wider than hip distance. Angle your toes out. Bend the knees. Grab your big toes with pointer and middle finger. So think peace signs, find some contact with the toes, wiggle your hips side to side. Another variation of the Friday dance. Now, if you can, as much as you can, start to straighten your legs out. It might be a small amount. Let your head hang, two big breaths. Release your toes, roll up to stand. Give your hands a clap together two times. Second set. Let's go. Chris. Option to take your hands behind your head if you want an extra challenge. Making sure to keep the spine straight. Woo! Yeah. Keep that chest up. I like it. Last 10 seconds. Let's move. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone step your feet wide. Both hands over to the right leg. Walk your hands down the right leg. Let the shoulders, the upper body, everything hang. Shake your head, uh-huh, yes, we did it. Roll up to stand. Both hands over to the left leg, walk them down. Legs are straight, getting that hamstring stretch. Shake your head, no, uh-uh, no more crisscross squats. Roll up to stand. Our final exercise of the day, standing for the legs, then we take it to core and we're done. It's a half burpee surfer. I'm from LA, I'm from California, I can't help it. Okay, so we come up. We come down, we hop back, hop up, surfer. Back, up, surfer. Okay, if hopping is not for you, we step up, up, surfer. Step back, back, up, up, surfer. So we're going side to side. We're doing 30 seconds, we're doing 20 seconds, and then we're doing 10, so the full move is we jump back, up on your board, back, up, surfing, okay? 30 seconds, think moderate pace, go. All right. And if you don't feel like you completely have the move, just make something out, move your body. It's only a workout, you can't really go wrong here as long as you're moving. Yes, when you jump into that surfer position, get low, catch your waves. Jump back, up, ride the wave. Last 10 seconds, moderate pace, we have two more sets. Woo! Good, for five, four, three, two. Hop on up, shake it all up, do the Friday dance. All right, our next set, we have 20 seconds, so let's pick up the pace a little bit. Start standing, reach your arms up, and let's go. Hit the mat, back. Up, surf, back, up, surf. <laughs> All right, last 10. See if we can go even faster. After this, we only have one more set. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, shake it out. Devin was flying, I like it. 
Okay, 10 seconds. Are we ready? Whether you're hopping or stepping, we're moving. Everyone come up to the top of your workspace. Reach your arms up, take a big breath in. As you exhale, drop right into it and go. 10 seconds, go, 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 go. We have nine, eight, seven, six. How many ways can you catch for five, four, three, two, and one? Everyone hop up to stand, step the feet wide, sink your hips back, hands to thighs, and start to drop your right shoulder down, pressing your right knee open. Switch sides, drop your left shoulder down, press that knee open. Those were awesome. <laughs> Come back up, straighten out the legs, parallel the feet, hands behind the back. Take a big breath in, lift your chest up. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Little bends and alternating knees, pedal it out. And let's make our way down to the mat for some core. So we have two minutes of work. You can take pauses if you need to. Our first 30 seconds, I'm in a butterfly position, okay? I roll back and up. See how far you can go without letting your feet lift off the mat. Now, if you start to topple, you're going too far. Smaller movement. Second 30 seconds, pause bicycles. We twist, twist, hold. Twist, twist, hold. Final minute. We're circling our legs one way for 30. We're circling our legs the other way for 30 seconds, okay? I'm gonna start each exercise out with you guys after this. We are so come into a butterfly seat, give those knees a flex. All right, squeeze your feet together, first 30 seconds. We roll back as far as you can, all the way up. And each time you roll, see if you can go a little bit further, maybe all the way down, all the way up. And if you can't do it, this is exactly why we do it, to challenge our core to grow stronger. Half done. Back. And up. See if you can go all the way. Round up that spine. Think the C shape. And up. We're going into pause bicycles in five, four, three, two, one. Knees into the tabletop, hands behind the head. We go twist, twist, hold. Twist, twist, hold. Keep going. See if you can find contact with elbow and knees, really getting into every single part of your abs, upper, lower, and side. Nice death. Yeah, go Lucas. Cool. Jack, I like that pause. Last 10 seconds. We have five, four, three, Two, everyone grab the backs of your legs. Kick them straight up to the ceiling. If you have tight hamstrings, keep a bend in your knees. I have one rule here. Your lower back has to stay glued to the ground the whole time. Otherwise, we're not working our abs, we're taxing our back. So we're gonna start to circle to the left, both legs down, up, and around. Down, up, and around. And I don't care how big your circles are, as long as your back is down, because that means your core is working. Good. And now the challenge is see if you can move even slower. Last five seconds, and we're going to go the other way in three, two, one. Flip them around, opposite direction. Last thing we have here, see if you can squeeze your ankles together. Making sure we're breathing. We're half done. See if we can slow that movement down. Maybe make those legs a little bit straighter. Get that hamstring stretch in two. Mm-hmm. We have five, four, three, two. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Now pull your knees into your armpits and reach your arms through your legs. So my elbows are coming in contact with the inner part of my knees. And see if you can grab the outer edges of your feet for what's called happy baby in yoga. And if this is just way too hard or makes zero sense, keep pulling your knees in towards your armpits. Slight external rotation of the legs. Whatever position you're in, give yourself a rock side to side. Back of the head stays heavy. And 
and then pull the knees back through center, circle them around one direction. Rock and roll up and down along the spine two or three times until you come up to sit. And our last stretch of the day is called pancake. So my legs are nice and wide in a V shape. I'm going to take my hands across my shoulders. And the only thing I want you to be mindful of here is that your spine stays straight. So even if you're going from rounded spine to straight spine, that's good. Rounded, straight. If you can, hinge and come up. And we hinge and come up. Take three more. Think leading with your belly button. Last two. If this is really hard, you can take a little bend in your knees, hinge and hold it. Reach your arms back behind you. You're diving into a swimming pool. Shoulders pull down, belly button drops low. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll up to sit. Give the knees a wiggle. Reach your arms out. Reach your arms up. Give yourself a round. Good job, everyone. I'll let Steve take it from here. If you have questions about the device, he'll answer them. If you have questions about the workout, you can toss them in chat or ask me. I'll be around for a little bit longer. So thank you guys so much. Happy birthday, Merle. And uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank you. I'm going to be so ready to do an next genius record now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Laurel. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Good work, team. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank Bye. you. Yeah.